Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Prison Architect. So we're... the last time was the intro, so we just sort of went through what to expect from this game, and uh, all at the same time, not at all what all to expect from this game. There is a lot you can do here. Um, I just want to point out that, yeah, you'll be automatically updated, they're still adding features, this is an early... Or, well, early-ish alpha. The game is extremely clean. It's incredibly playable, but that doesn't mean that there's not bugs. In fact, they're, I think at this point, pretty well known for... Uh, over at Introversion, that is, they're pretty well known for lampooning themselves over the bugs. So, yeah, when your billing point is, if you have not already done so, please register. Uh, and the benefits include a private developer forum, wiki, and bugs database. You know you're going to have some fun. So, let's see, let's see, Are the extras and options we're not so interested in, really. We're going to go ahead and create a new prison. We have Fog of War. Uh, you will lose visibility in the insides of your prison building. So, there is possible, it's possible to lose sight of things going on, and you have to kind of go by sound. So, continuous intake. If you enable, you will receive a random number of new prisoners every day. However, if disabled, you can choose when you are ready to receive prisoners. So we're going to do that. This is kind of... I, I've played a good chunk of it. I kind of binged on it earlier for about three hours. And uh, so I've got a better idea of what I'm doing. But I still am not confident that I'll be able to handle it. Um, generate forests. Clusters of trees will appear on your land. Uh, we might turn that off, actually. I'm, I'm debating. Yeah, we're going to turn that off. Generate lakes. Random lakes will block sections of your land. Uh, warning experimental. We're definitely not turning that on. Generate buildings. Random derelict buildings will be left behind on your land, which you can use as you wish. I'm going to turn that on, because that sounds kind of interesting to me. So, actually, we're going to generate forests. Oh, okay, I keep thinking that this is going to be like, all of a sudden they'll appear kind of deal, but that's not how it works. It's just how the beginning works. And uh, forests are kind of handy in the sense that you can chop down the trees and get some extra cash at the beginning. As to whether or not you actually need it remains to be seen, but I think it's okay. Failure condition, conditions. Extra challenge. You will be sacked and it will be game over if you let things get too bad. Riots, bankruptcy, too many deaths or escapees, uh, etc. So I was talking about this in the, at the end of the last videos and we are absolutely leaving that on. Because uh, there's a possible chance that this game could just go on forever. And uh, that might not be so interesting if there's no danger in it. So, here we go. We are starting. This is the first day. We're getting our first crew of eight workmen, and they've got a whole bunch of supplies coming in there. And there's our deliveries and garbage. That's going to be real important here. And read CEO's letter. Congratulations on completing your basic induction. You are now a fully qualified prison architect. Soon you'll be designing, building, and running your own prison, starting from nothing but an empty plot of land and a few stacks of bricks. Before you get started, I thought I might share some important lessons with you. Every prisoner needs every prison needs a warden, so we need a warden. Individual, bleh, individual jail cells are expensive, especially early on, so you'll make a holding cell. Get a kitchen and canteen and up and running first before the first prisoners show up. And be sure to hire some cooks. Nothing irritates a prisoner more than an empty stomach. It's true. Many items require a water connection, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so just some some basic basics. Uh, we're going to pause, and the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of these ruins here. So these just happen to be right where we want to put some of our main features and buildings. Uh, and that's not any good. I do want to look and see... Yeah, there's the fences. Okay, so fences are free walls, and that's going to be super important... In the sense that actually being able to expand, it's going to be kind of difficult to kind of dodge around what we have at the moment. In so in so far as we don't want pit prisoners to just have open access to the outside now, do we? So, all right, let's start planning. First things first, this is where our deliveries and garbage are. So we're going to actually create an employee pathway. Um, actually, first things first, we're going to create... So you are able to plan, which I think is brilliant. It's a great addition to this particular genre. And what that does is just do basically little chalk outlines of where you want to put things. So I'm leaving three spaces here because you can get something called a perimeter fence, which is supposed to be, I guess, the strongest fence. I don't know if they can break walls yet, but I imagine that might be a thing in the future. And um, why not, right? You might as well be prepared... Uh, for anything, and it's good to start getting into good habits before they become a serious issue. That's just personal philosophy there, maybe. So, there we go. That's where our perimeter fence will end up going once we get one. And then next is 
that's already getting destroyed. But we want what will end up being our employee access. So we're going to end up with a hallway here. And then there's two spaces or three. That's three. Okay, we don't want three. We want two. So we'll do that and take away this wall. Right click. There we go. And yeah, and this will be a good setup for all the things we want to do that are going to require um, supplies regularly. Like we've got our garbage here, deliveries. They're going to be walking back and forth to this thing all the time. So this is going to be strictly for employee use only uh, sort of hallway. So a door will go there. No prisoners should be allowed in here. Um, and then we're going to ultimately have some employee doors there, but we're going to plot out a few other things really quick. So what we really want is a canteen and a kitchen where everybody will be fed whenever it's lunchtime or dinner time or eat time as it were. So for a kitchen, we want a fairly healthy amount of space. So we want, let's do uh, four. So that's four. And then we'll come out here. I can do boxes, but you know what? I don't feel like it. Five, six, seven. Wait. Well, this is where it's handy to do boxes. You just add. That's going to be ten. So that's four by ten. If we minus two from both of those figures, and that works. So, and then there will be a door here, and here that will be employees only. Uh, well, this will be employees only. That will be prisoners only door. Um, and then we're going to need enough space for plenty of eating tables and those the eating tables are going to be four by seven so we need or not four by seven three by seven uh if you count benches and table so we're going to need a serving area this is already 10 so that's going to be enough for a serving table and whoop, let me make sure i do this right like that and then uh 10 spaces 10 spaces will be enough for a serving table and i'm thinking sorry math um, yeah, you know what? I think that's going to be good enough for now. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. And there we go. That will be what becomes our canteen. Um, our holding cell is going to be our de facto entrance into the prison. So we can kind of build that into our existing wall here. And that will go roughly like that. We're going to do 12 by 6. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's go objects and those doors there I guess it's actually 10 by 6 since that was 12 but you know what I mean um, there's that we're not gonna worry about the fence space for now fence will basically take up this line here um, and then yeah what else do we need we're gonna need cells but we'll get that going once we get that going oh and we will need offices we'll absolutely need offices so we are going to have to partition the space off later but I like having offices basically look like this. So it's got to be four by four. So five by five uh, building here. And then another office. Just planning out the space here. Um, we'll put it up later. It's not going to be immediate. But we'll have everything plotted out in advance. Um, and then five here, five here five here and what's going to end up happening is that's going to end up being an employee only zone um and yeah i dig it i really dig it uh and this will be some stuff later on once again we're just sort of plotting it out at this point so let's go ahead and start things off with some foundations we're going to do first and foremost this foundation and two large prison doors large jail doors sorry um I'm not sure how much of a distinction that really requires, but, you know. Okay, these guys are going to unload. We're going to go ahead and kick it up to 2x speed, and I'm going to have a drink of my Blue Moon. So, there we go. You can already see the moss growing. I, I haven't quite figured out how to do groundskeeping yet. So, but, yeah, things get tend to age pretty quickly. It's a little disconcerting. Uh, they are going to have to tear down this tree at some point. That's going to be annoying. So, and then we've got doors there. 
Let's go ahead and we can go staff, guard. We'll need at least a couple guards to start. Oh, well, I got three because I stacked two of them on top of each other. I wasn't paying attention. Rooms. This is going to be our holding cell. Intro to prison. 101. There's your holding cell. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Um, maybe I should have built that a little bit closer to my offices. Oh well, I'm not going to stress about it. Um, and a brick wall will come out to here at least. And yeah, once again, this is going to be our employees only area. And we'll, we'll start building a little bit of fence here. Okay. Oh, that was paused, sorry. Ah, right click doesn't close out of those menus. You have to manually click. I I don't know if there's hotkeys yet or not, but that is kind of annoying sometimes. I don't know. Minor gripe. Okay. Oh, hey, before I forget, we will need power and water. Uh, so let's go ahead and plan out that. We're going to put that. Where do we want to put that? They say put water in the middle because it'll help people from digging out, but I don't think that's going to matter if you do your water system right anyways. So let's go ahead and do planning. Will it work if we do... Well, you can put them outside. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, there's no environmental ha hazard yet that says that uh, you have to put your power and water indoors unless you just want to do it for aesthetics, but we'll just do that. And then we'll have a pipe valve. Nope, not pipe valve. A water pump station here. And let me think. Let's do it like that. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. And just for fun, we'll do a couple capacitors to start. And then we'll absolutely need to start running power. So we'll do power like that. And then it'll come down through here. Like that. And that'll be enough to get us started. Okay. Now, something important. We can do grants. So, basic detention center. These are basically challenges that give you money. So, this will give me 20,000 advance payment and a $10,000 completion bonus. And this is going to give us a list of things that we need to make here. So, uh, after that, we'll also need an administrative center. Those are going to be two of our first things that we're absolutely going to need. And so, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so let's go ahead and start building an administrative center. You can do like a small chunk of building like this and then add on to it later. And the plans can just hang out where they are and uh, be, completed at, com be completed at a later date. Uh, oh, there we go. We want objects and a staff door. So can't be too safe. And yeah, our holding cell is getting built, or they're working on it at least. Uh, let me close that. Man. The rain has been crazy today. Now, I know uh, I live in Seattle where it rains all the time, but it's been really unusually heavy rainfall. We can... Oh, no, that's a light. We want the wood. Uh, let me select the wood. Stack. There we go. Sell object. There we go. 150 bucks for wood. Can't beat that. Probably can, but, you know, I'm not going to try. Okay, so let's go... They're just wandering around at this point, so I'm going to pause while I try to get my uh, thoughts together here. Oh, I do need to run power over there. So let's go utilities. Electrical. Okay. And that'll do that. Okay. So, turn off utilities. We are now powered over here. Now our room needs a toilet and a bench. So we're going to go objects, toilet, and we're going to build a couple toilets over there. And then we need some benches. So one bench here. And one bench here. I am a sucker for symmetry. So there's that. And that's almost done. Why, do, why doesn't that have a wall? That's real strange to me. Okay. So we're going to go... Where is materials? We want a brick wall. There we go. That door is open. We're going to turn this into an office. Uh, what do we need to do? Hire a warden, unlock finance through bureaucracy. I'll explain that in a second whenever we get to it. But uh, actually, let me go back to foundations and add another chunk here. Okay, perfect. And for whatever reason, they're just going to refuse to build uh, what we need there, really. 
Okay, there's that. Alright, we'll give him a second. There we go. That's taken care of. Uh, let me see. One, two... Oh no! I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Room size must be 4x4. Four four, so we're going to have to extend the foundations a little bit. I totally wasn't thinking. I did 5x5. Five five. Uh, okay, pause. Building. More like this. There we go. We'll get rid of our previous plans here. Because uh, they are basically dead to us at this point. And we'll let them work on this for a second while I try to figure out where I went wrong with my life. Um, and since it's already night, I'm getting a little concerned. We're going to expediate this a little bit. Rooms. We need a staff door over here. Where is... Oh, objects. Staff door. And then... Oh, 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 oh. Large jail cell door. Like that. Perfect. Uh, requires entrance. Oh, it's not going to build until I actually have an entrance. Let me go... Where's door? Dismantle. Dismantle. And then objects. Staff door. Let's go right there. Yeah, we'll go there. Who cares? We're going to get our warden and establish him, and then he's basically never going to leave anyway, so no big deal, really. And there we go. That should become a thing any second now. There we go. We're good. Okay, let's go ahead and try to figure out how we're going to do this. Two, three, four, like that. And then we need a back wall. And then we need to establish that this room is a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, is it going to let me? It's not. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, it's still the wrong size. One, no, no, I've got to build the back wall and then it'll be, yeah, it'll be 4x4 four four for sure. So let me go office, office, office. There we go. Office. Office. And then we are going to uh, materials. Demolish wall. Demolish that wall, specifically. And yeah, doing okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just hire a warden. Okay, and then we need to partition off these walls. Come here, brick wall. Good old trusty brick wall. And then, oh, did it not build a door there? Is, we're not building doors now? You jerk. Okay, demolish wall. There's that. And then we do need a brick wall here. Uh, did I tell it to demolish? I'm sure it did. Okay, Warden's a little upset. He has no power or any other way to uh, operate in his office, so we're going to go ahead and build him a chair. And an office desk. And a filing cabinet. There we go. Official office achieved. What is that? That's a brick. Okay, fine. Whatevs. Okay, so where are we at on this? We need to do more doors, more doors. There's a door there. There's a door there. Okay. That'll take them a second to fill that out. We got six hours before prisoners arrive, so I'm trying to bust ass. Okay, why haven't they demolished this yet? What's going on? Okay, they're building stuff over there. Materials. Demolish wall. Demolish wall that wall, demolish that wall, I don't care, demolish wall. Okay, so let's see, and he has no lights, does he? Let's fix that. That's a little sad. Uh, oh, hold on, we had a warning here, why is that? Dump rubble, no route. Why is it have no route? No route, failed seven times, no route, failed seven times. Hmm, hmm. Job. Construct demolish walls. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Here's where the glitches happen. Uh, as, as ordained. 
Okay, let's go ahead and... Something about these fences is keeping me from being able to do anything. So, first of all, let's turn the planning off for here. Since we already have a fence, we need to be able to see that fence. Ideally. Um, okay, we need to... What is going to allow us to actually get rid of these walls here? Okay, are they going to do it? No? Okay, we're just bulldozing everything. We're going to be at a little bit of a deficit, but that's fine. I've clearly screwed something up here. Okay. So, let's go back to fencing. We absolutely should close all of, the, all of this in as soon as we can. So, we're going to draw the line at about here. Just to get things rolling here. And... Like so. I like that little fill effect there while it was uh, processing. Very, very cool. Alright, and yeah, so I think that's pretty much the basics of what's going to be happening here. You get the idea. But we are at the 20 minute mark. I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and whenever we come back, we'll get prisoners. Yay! I hope this was super thrilling for you. I know it might not be, but... In all honesty, I really enjoy this game, and it can only get better. So, uh, I will see you next time. Have fun.